uh, with that, let's move on to the uh, another topics. It's very related to the uh, the previous talk. The title we discussed about the fishing gear, uh, but uh, <clears throat> here we are going to talk about the a uh, sport fishing, like how the the fishermen engage in a sport fishing, rather the fishing for as a hobby, right? So now this is not very popular in Sri Lanka as well. Uh, something called the sport fishing or, or sometimes called game fishing. But now it's becoming popular, especially with there is a lot of tourists coming in to Sri Lanka for like a targeting this game fishing or sport fishing. So there is a, a big market uh, developing in Sri Lanka, especially you can provide the services for fishermen, sorry, the, the, for the tourists. For, to go to see, like to like most of the cases, they I mean they know how to do it. You just need to provide a boat and perhaps some uh, a pole or a rod for fishing. Or in most of the cases, they like tourists, they are professional, perhaps sport or game fishermen. They carry their fishing gear with them always wherever they go, uh, or they might you might need to hire them. Right now, a lot of uh, like uh, tour operators now they are operating this kind of a uh, uh, deep sea fishing operation. Uh, like a, we call it as a charter boat. You charter a boat, and then you take a few foreigners or the tourists uh, and take them for fishing. Right? Uh, perhaps you might need to give some training for them. But in many cases, you don't have to. You just need to take to a place where they can do fishing, especially for like in a reef areas, not coral reefs, but uh, some other reefs where uh, plenty of fish. Then uh, they will do the uh, fishing. They just need to uh, uh, provide the infrastructure for that one, right? So uh, that is very important, especially if you are like uh, thinking of or planning for uh, some sort of a business in the future. So this is something you can target. Uh, I know some of the this aquatic science student already has started this kind of a business uh, for a tourist. Um, so it can be a very lucrative business, uh, but if you do it uh, in a, a proper way, you can do it really well, right? Uh, but if you search in the internet, uh, there are so many service providers in Sri Lanka, right? So I don't want to go into very detail this particular sport fishing because um, it's not very popular as well. And not the major concerns here. We are mainly concerning about the, the commercial food fish, right? But um, what are the methods that we use? That is very briefly we'll discuss. Right? There are at least three different types of uh, uh, game fishing or sport fishing. The, the first method called the bait fishing, right? the using a bait, amakwa, which you call, right? they use some form of a bait, uh, can be anything from another fish, a small fish or some uh, flies maybe, some worms, likewise it can be anything, a bait. Sometimes the bait can be even live fish, in most of the cases, dead fish. Right? So the bait fishing, and the second type is called the lure fishing. That is also a bait, but it is artificial bait. It can be a plastic or metal sometimes, uh, made of some, some sort of a buoyant uh, material. Uh, as you can see in the middle image, the top one is the live fish, and the, that's a lure. It's, just like similar to that one is made a, a plastic made fish, right? You see um, this color they use and the, the shape, everything you have to think of because the, the, the fish are not really dumb, right? They won't uh, follow anything, but they have to resemble the color and the shape, everything. Then only they will attack their uh, preferred prey, right? You have to 
like whoever the, the manufacturer have to design it's properly, right? So that is using a lure or the bait, uh, artificial baits. The, the third type of fishing or the fly fishing, right? As the name says, it's a fly. They use the fly for fishing. Um, still in some villages, some people, you might know that some people know how to do this fly fishing, but it's not in a professional way, but uh, some do, but they use some, the, the insects, they attach it to the hook and then they use that one for, for fishing, right? So that these are the, uh, the, the three different types of uh, game or sport fishing, right? Um, okay, so on your left, you see the, 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 the bait fishing, the, some of the, the fish that being used for bait fishing, uh, some small fish like this handle or even small, uh, like hurula sala, they can be used for as a bait fish. Um, I got this actual image from the internet, you see. So we still have to import this bait fish from some countries. I don't know the volume, maybe how many kilograms, maybe 100 kilograms or something, it's $600, can be very expensive, right? Uh, so we have to import even the bait fish sometimes, right? So, so unfortunate. And on your right, you see the, the lures or the artificial bait. It very resembles uh, uh, another type of uh, uh, marine organism, right? Uh, actually, in the laboratory classes, we usually uh, we work on this kind of thing. We have many different types of uh, lures. Um, some of you might have already seen that, right? So, for the bait fishing, you know, it's, you can use even a sing, simple type of a hand and line or even a, a, this kind of a rod and line uh, where they use this uh, a mechanism uh, to cast the, 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 the hook with a bait, right? So it can be many different uh, type of this uh, uh, rod and of this kind of a rod. Right, so, <clears throat> so that's how these are uh, being used. Uh, there are some uh, like uh, gadgets being used with this uh, uh, bait fishing uh, for sport purposes. I mean, most of the, these things are not familiar with you, but uh, like uh, even in Sri Lanka, there are some shops that are selling these, all these, like they call, uh, 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 fishing, fish and tackle shop, where you can get all these different gear. Uh, in Colombo, there are a few of these kind of uh, shops where you can buy most of these things, right? Uh, in the internet, you can see these things, right? Um, <clears throat> but, you know, sport fishing, it's not something easy, you know, you need a lot of patience as well as skill, right? Even if you put a bait and you cast a rod, you won't catch a fish unless you use a proper way of doing it. And as well as, uh, unless you sit and wait for a long period of time, right? So you, I mean, you need a lot of experience to do this uh, bait fishing. Uh, it's not that easy. I don't know anyone of you have done this one before. And if you do, you will know that how hard it's to or do this kind of a fishing, right? Uh, maybe you have sometimes wait for several hours without any luck, right? So, but uh, that's where I need a lot of skills, right? So <clears throat> the second type is the lure fishing. They, I mean, the same thing, but it's the difference is they use the artificial bait in this case. So as I mentioned, they have to be in the good shape, good color, and a very good combination that the, 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 the predators will follow. Otherwise, they're not going to follow it, right? So that's very important, right? Um, there are so many different types of lures, right? So you don't have to memorize this thing. I just put in this one, for example, um, just to show you, but uh, we have many different, most of these different types of uh, 
the Lewis act, we have in our laboratory, right? So the third type of uh, the sport fishing is fly fishing, right? Again, it's not popular type in Sri Lanka. So I just want to mention that there is something called fly fishing. Uh, as you can see, like, you know, this, this kind of a, the fishing methods, um, most of people do professionally, like it's a hobby, but they will do it uh, as a profession, like a professional fly fishers. You need a lot of skills actually to do this fly fishing. I have already uploaded a video in the LMS, uh, like, you know, it's the casting this uh, uh, for fly, fly fishing is really a, something difficult thing, you see. Like uh, you have to cast it in a, a different way. Like it's like, a, you have to resemble that it's like a flying uh, insect like in the surface of the water, you have to throw that line on the surface of the water and it's, you have to make it very smooth. So this casting is really difficult. Uh, so like you have to get it like a lot of experience to do this one, right? Uh, so these are sort of a traditions like a, these different, coming from different traditions, right? Anyway, so these are not our interest. Uh, we don't have many fly fishing uh, traditions in Sri Lanka, so though, so we don't have to um, go through uh, details of these fishing methods, right? So, as you would see, uh, like the for the fly fishing, they will use some live insects, but most of the cases they will use again a lure or the bait, uh, something that resembles an insect. Um, most of the cases uh, they use this kind of a thing, right? So this is the 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 fishing rod or the rod don't rod and line, right? So again, don't confuse with the pole and line. This is also a pole and line, but that in typically we call pole and line is that balapiti, right? So it's it's the the specific type of fishing gear used for catching skip jack tuna. Right? So don't confuse with this rod down line or fishing rod. Right? Um, I have seen many, several times that uh, some student got this confused. When I asked to write short notes on pole and line, they uh, just mentioned about this type of fishing gear, which is be very different from uh, the pole and line fishing, right? All right, so that's about the, the sport fishing. Uh, that little bit about like a, what kind of a um, gear being used for sport fishing that there's heaps of different types of like rods and lines. As you know, these like uh, this kind of a sport fishing come from like a sort of a tradition, right? Especially they have been popular among like a rich people in the historical times. Like it's like a, like a, to show the like how rich you are, you have so many different types of uh, uh, gear. It can be very expensive from a few thousand dollars to, sorry, few thousand rupees to a um, few hundred thousands rupees. Uh, based on the material and like, it's the same thing, but uh, it's the difference is the material, but uh, uh, that can be sometimes really expensive, right? So there are some, uh, like uh, some mechanisms to cast this uh, rod and line, especially you can, uh, you can uh, cast it for quite long distances with this mechanism, as well as when they want to the the, the whole the line or how you can rewind it very quickly um, with this mechanism. Otherwise it's going to take a long time to, to retrieve the lines, right? So, so that mechanism is there. Um, <clears throat> this type of uh, gear, as I mentioned before, it's all going with this uh, sport fisherman. They will have a, even a specific vest with all these gear that needed and he also a box 
and also different type of uh, equipment like a clipper and this kind of uh, the hemostat, right? I don't know, it's like a scissor, but uh, this is to remove the hooks from the fish. You know, it's so difficult to remove a hook from a fish when they are uh, attached to. So this device make it the thing easier. But in some countries, you still need a lichen even for like a sport fishing. You can't do just sport fishing anywhere, but you need a lichen. But uh, in Sri Lanka, you don't need a, you don't have any license scheme for sport fishing, right? So that's all about the fishing methods, right? Um, so if you have any questions before moving into the the next title. Now it's the time. 